Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So I don't think I've ever done a setup like this for a what's on my iPhone. So yeah, I'm trying to do something a little bit different because I've watched literally everybody's what's on my iPhone videos and it looks like everyone's doing it the same way. So I kind of want to do mine a little bit different. So I'm filming it from like a point of view perspective, like where you guys can see it instead of just having a screen recording. Um, I filmed a lot of videos doing the screen recording method and if you want to watch those, you can go ahead and look on my channel. I might link some down below. But anyway, Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So the iPhone I have is the iPhone 11 Pro Max, as you can probably tell from the title. Um, so this is the one that has the three cameras and it is the bigger one. It's the, like I said, the Pro Max. And I do have the Apple clear case on it. Um, this one's kind of expensive for just being a clear case. Like you can find a lot of clear cases on Amazon for like dirt cheap. But this is the one that I liked the most, I guess, for the price. Like, it's very high quality, I feel. Um, the buttons were very hard to push when you first get the case, but it ends up, like, evening, or not evening out, but, like, it gets easier to push once it gets worn in. Um, going on to my phone, uh, like I said, it's already 11 Pro Max. It is in the silver version. You can kind of see me in the reflection, which is honestly gross, but... Um, so yeah, I got the silver slash white version. It has like the silver stainless steel around. I am coming from the iPhone 11, or I'm coming from the iPhone 10s Max, and I had that one in the space gray. I did a what's on my iPhone for that video, or I did a what's on my iPhone video for that phone. Um, so if you want to check that out, you can go on my channel and look. I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. Not much has changed on my phone since I've had my last one. Also, for anyone that is wondering if they should get the iPhone 11 Pro Max, I was thinking about making a separate video for this, but um, I would strongly encourage you to not buy this phone, which I know like that's a complete 180 from what the rest of the internet says. Um, coming from the 10s Max, I just don't think this phone is worth the hefty price tag. Even coming from like the X or the XR or 10R, um, I just don't find this phone worth it. The camera, like, don't get me wrong, it's good, but it's not, like, amazing compared to the uh, previous phones. Like, I think even if you have an 8, there's really no need to get this phone. Like, yeah, it's nice to have the whole screen, but in reality, these phones still work the exact same way as the other iPhones. I heard next year's iPhones are going to be, like, all different. Like, I suppose the notch is going to go away and stuff like that. So if anyone's thinking about upgrading, I would kind of advise against it unless you absolutely, unless you absolutely need a new phone. Um, but yeah, I mean, I genuinely like it, but for the most part, it's basically the same as my iPhone XS Max was. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna go ahead and get to what's in my iPhone. So my lock screen is just this picture I took of my white blanket and I kind of added a filter to it. I don't know, I really like it. I feel like it makes the phone look really clean. Um, I don't know, I just like, I like a white background because it like kind of contrasts like with the notch and stuff. Um, so yeah, I have my face scanner, but it's gonna want me to enter my passcode. So I'm just gonna enter that in real quick. I've literally had the same passcode, you guys, for like three years, I'm not even kidding. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my phone on do not disturb so I don't get bugged while I'm filming this. So this is my iPhone. So I actually have only two screens. Um, this is like my loaded screen. Like this is where I have all my apps organized into folders. So um, yeah, you can kind of take a quick look. So I have the same wallpaper for my lock screen onto um, my actual home screen, so there's no difference on that. My first page is typically all apps I use almost every single day. So in the top row, I just have mail, weather, or I'm sorry, I was going the other way. I have calendar, weather, mail, and Gmail. This app, uh, the stock Apple app for mail is what I use for my personal email, and Gmail I use for my school email. Then I have YouTube, settings, maps, which Apple Maps, honestly, I used to like like until I tried Google Maps and Waze. Now I don't ever use it. Um, so I don't know why I keep it there. Then I have my app store. I have Tumblr, which I literally never use anymore, but I just feel wrong <laughs> moving it away from my home screen. Then I also have Snapchat, which everybody has Snapchat. And you guys, oh, cool. Like I love when my skin looks so bad and the front, pop, the front camera pops up and totally ruins this video. Um... So yeah, there's me filming. 
um, in my bedroom. <laughs> if this couldn't get awkward enough, the front camera has to pop up. But anyways, if you guys want to go ahead and add me, here is my snap code. I think I also have a link in my description or on my channel about... Um, but yeah, so I use Snapchat all the time. I love getting your guys' messages on here. A lot of people from YouTube Snapchat me, like text me, and I like love talking to you guys. So if you guys have Snapchat, add me on there and like, you know, totally feel free to get in contact with me. I respond to everybody. Um, I know I used to get a lot of Instagram DMs, but I honestly prefer Snapchat to talk through um, just because it's what I use the most. Then I also have Twitter, which... I am on Twitter all the time, so let's go ahead and go to my prof oops, my profile. Um, so this is my Twitter profile. I don't know why it's not like focusing. I feel like the camera's too bright. It's not like focusing that well, but um, yeah, so this is my Twitter profile. Um, like I said, I'm on Twitter all the time. I don't know why I'm talking so slow, but this is my Twitter. Like I said, I'm on here all the time, so if you guys want to follow me. Um, I used to tweet a lot. I don't really tweet anymore. I just go ahead and retweet most funny things. I feel like Twitter is, like, really funny. Um, it's where I come to laugh a lot. So, yeah, there's kind of some... Sometimes I come across, like, <laughs> bad things, so I'm, like, afraid to scroll through with you guys because you never know what people, like, retweet on my timeline. But if you want to get a good laugh here and there, definitely follow me on Twitter. And then I have YouTube Studio, which is just an app to where I can interact with you guys and easily respond to comments and also view, like, YouTube analytics. I then have Facebook and Facebook Messenger, which I literally never use Facebook no more. I just have it on there for family purposes and also with my school. For my um, nursing cohort, we all have, like, a group page where we can all talk and stuff. And that's why I have Messenger as well. I also have Google, which I just do to keep, like, quick searches on. And there's also, like, some news articles on there I like to read. And then I have camera. So, like, the main selling point of the iPhone 11s are the camera. So you guys know, like, okay, so the one zoom and two zoom is pretty normal. Like, that's what a lot of iPhones have had since, like, the 7. Um, but then the 11 Pro Max and the 11, uh, and the 11 Pro, all three of the new phones have the wide-angle camera which like just lets you do this really zoomed in kind of camera, which I've actually used this to vlog and it's pretty cool because you can get a lot more into your shot. And yes, I'm actually filming on my floor. <laughs> oh my God, this video is going so bad. But um, yeah, it's actually pretty interesting. And I know also on the front camera, so like, yes, here's me. Um, if you, you can do this new zoom out lens, so that kind of zooms out more, I don't think, Older iPhones had this, because I know my XS Max did not have that. Um, wow, I literally just look so fed up, you guys. Like, okay. <laughs> uh, and then I also have Visco. I used to, people always used to call it VSCO Cam, but I always said Visco Cam. So am I saying it right? Whatever. Anyways, if you want to follow me, here's my um, profile. I like to post, like, a lot of artsy stuff. I don't really post that many selfies. I know I kind of did, but... Okay, I actually kind of do. Never mind. That's so embarrassing. But I kind of, like, I love photography. So I try and take my own pictures and, like, post cool pics, I guess. I'm a big sunset and, like, scenery person. So, yeah. I don't know. If you want to follow me in there, cool. If not, cool. I also, oopsies. I also have Instagram, which I honestly use all the time, except I don't post. I'm literally a ghost on here. Here is my profile. Literally haven't posted, I think, since January. Yep, haven't posted since January 26th. So, yeah, I never post. I haven't posted in, like, 10 months, but I am always on here. Um, feel free to follow me in here if you want to. I do post on my stories here and there, but um, honestly, Snapchat and Twitter... Oh, Trisha, okay... I use Snapchat and Twitter the most. If you guys ever want to get into contact with me, Snapchat's the best way. Twitter is good for um, jokes, I guess. <laughs> um, what else do I have? I have Starbucks, Chase, Apple News, Apollo, which is just a Reddit client. And then I also have Waze, which I love using Waze because it gets me around all the traffic. It also alerts me if there's police. I literally use this every time I drive. And then I have T-Mobile which just lets me see my data usage, even though I have unlimited data. Um, 
I don't know why I really have the app there. I don't really use it that often, but whatever. And then at the bottom row, I just have my phone, Safari, Messages, and Apple Music. I'm on Apple Music. Like, this is what I use. We're, like, on a family plan, so... Um, okay, I always forget how you can find your profile, but I know on my last What's on My iPhone, um, I somehow showed my profile so you guys could, like, follow me if you want to, I guess. But, yeah, whatever. If you want to follow me on there, it's this, my username is the same for, like, all my social media. It's just my name, Alex Bogoyevsky. Um, so yeah, that's that page. And then the next page, try not to get overwhelmed, guys. I have a lot of folders, and I tried to put, like, a cool text, I guess. Like, I just spaced the letters out to make it a little bit more unique. I don't know if I love it. It's been like that for a while, and I mean, I kind of like it, but is it, like, too weird? I don't know. Anyways, so the first folder I have is utilities, which literally is just a bunch of utilities. Um, I have, like, the files, find my iPhone, which also has find my friends, Zedge, which, like, does wallpapers. You can find a bunch of cool wallpapers. HP smart print, weather app, another weather app. That's to control my smart light bulbs. Google Translate, and then Dope is another cool, like, wallpaper app. Um, I like it, but there's always so many ads. But they always have a bunch of cool wallpapers. I mean, some of them are a little tacky and a little much. Like, I would never use them, but, I mean... I guess it's cool to look through them, but once you start clicking through a lot of them, like, you start getting a lot of ads, and it gets really annoying. Um, that's it for that app. I also have Photos, which is just a bunch of photo editing stuff that I never use, because I, like, never take pictures, even though I do. I don't know, I just don't edit photos like I used to. Um, you can kind of look through them. I also have, like, a followers app to see who unfollows me on Instagram, because I don't care if that sounds petty. I will unfollow people if they unfollow me. Um, and then I have these two new apps I have not tried out, but they were on, like, the App Store, like, top charts, so I wanted to see what they're about, and I still haven't even opened them. Um, school, this is just a bunch of school apps I use for university. Um, Quiz, it's my favorite. And, yeah, that's really it. Not that I don't care about school. TV, this is, like, um, our Comcast slash Xfinity stuff as long as my Apple TV, YouTube TV, Netflix, and Prime Video. I don't really watch any of this stuff on my phone. I just have it here just in case. A lot of, you guys don't recognize that a lot of these apps I have on my phone for just in case because I never actually use these apps all the time. I just like to keep them here because I'm an app hoarder. Um, and then I have shopping, which I actually have a lot of stuff on here. I don't really feel like going through all of them. But yeah, I never really shop on my phone either. I just have the apps here in case I do order something. I can get like push notifications to my phone when my order shipped or when it's delivered or for just like the little cards for points. I also have food, which I don't really use this app that often either. I mean, I do use Chipotle to mobile order or for Kidoba. Um, yeah, this is just all the food apps I have. Sometimes I just to even look at the menus. I mean, I don't eat out too often. I mean, I actually kind of do eat out often, but Whatever, and then I have Amazon, which can't live without Amazon. I also have eBay in there. Like, I don't know why that's in there. And then I also have my shipping tracking apps. Yeah, I don't know why this folder is kind of strange. Then I have my health app, which just has like your basic stuff. I do use Lose It all the time. This is actually just a calorie counting app. Um, and I've been using this for well over a year now. I started using this app to count calories like when I was just getting out of high school, and since high school, senior year, I'm now, like, in my junior year of college. Okay, so it's, it's been, like, two, oh, like, two years. So I know, like, the first year I used this, I want to say I lost, like, almost 30 pounds counting my calories, almost 30 pounds, something like that, but now I just really count calories to kind of maintain, I guess, but I need to start doing this again to lose more weight, because I'm, like, I feel like I'm starting to get fat now because I just, like, stress eat all the time and don't eat that healthy. Um, but yeah, I usually always count my calories. And today I haven't even eaten anything except for, um, iced coffee. And I have creamer in there because I had cold brew this morning. And the cold brew is, like, zero calories anyways. And I just added a tea or tablespoon of creamer. It's pretty cool. You guys can find a lot of stuff on here, like, every time you want to track stuff. Um, let's see, when I add lunch, you can add, like, Taco Bell, and, like, everything pops up with, like, a green check, which means it's verified, and it shows you all the macros and stuff, which is really cool. 
I also have activity, which just shows you, um, like with your Apple Watch, it shows you how much you walked and stuff. I didn't wear mine today because I had an exam this morning. But you guys can see from yesterday the amount of activity I did. So it's pretty cool. Then I have Headspace, which is just a meditation app. Sleep Cycle, which is an alarm. I used to use it all the time in summer, but I don't use it anymore because it's not so, like, I guess, like, easy to use with your regular alarm app. And then I have Lifetime, which is just my gym. Then I have this Apple folder over here, which is just all the basic Apple apps. Like, I don't use that often, but I wanted to group them together to be all in one space. Um, I also have Social, which is just extra social media stuff that I never really use that often enough to have on my main home screen. Um, so yeah, I like, honestly never open these apps, except for TikTok I go on every day. I should move this to my I home screen. Oopsies. Um... So yeah, I use TikTok pretty frequently. Um, I don't really make TikToks at all, but I'm just like scrolling through the For You page. I think they're funny. This is like the new Vine, you guys, okay? Oh wait, there's another. Oh no, I already went through that. Um, then I also have Navigation, which is just a bunch of stuff you guys can probably think of, like Google Maps, Gas Buddy, which lets you check gas prices, Park Mobile, which lets you um, find parking spaces and pay for parking. For downtown areas, and then I have a Lincoln app, Alpha Mail app, Bird for the scooters, and then Uber, um, phone. This is just like all Google stuff and not really important. Um, books, which I don't read anymore, but I have them on here anyways, just in case I feel like reading. Finance, which is boring, and just stuff like PayPal and Discover. Radio, which just lets me listen to different stuff, which I never really use often either because I use Apple Music. That's why I'm saying I don't know why I have all these apps on my phone. Then I also have games, which I never use. The Mario Kart, honestly, is such a disappointment. For anyone that downloaded this knows, it is a disappointment. And then my last folder is clinical. This is for my nursing program. I use these for um, references and practice. And as you can see, yeah, that's really it for um, what's on my iPhone. This was my what's on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. And yeah, that's going to really conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions or favorite apps, be sure to comment them down below and like this video if you enjoyed. And if you haven't already, also subscribe. I do all sorts of videos like vlogs and trying to broaden my YouTube portfolio and do a little bit of other types of videos. I know it's a little late to doing the what's on my iPhone, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!